Kaylee, and in July, I am participating in the Les Mis Read Along. This Read Along is being hosted mainly by Naomi's Bookshelf, and some of the other co-hosts are Victoria from A Musical Bookworm, one of my favorite booktubers, uh, Christy Lewis at Dostoevsky in Space, and Melanie Frenchie Reader. So the four of them are hosting this Lem Is Read Along. I will have links to their channels and their read along announcements down in the description box if you wanna look at those. And I think they're gonna take like two and a half months or a month and a half or something to read the entire thing. However, I wanna read it faster. I have other things to read. I cannot take two months reading this thing. I mean, I just need to like get it done. So my edition has 1,463 pages. So if I try to read 50 pages per day, then I can finish it in 29 days. I'm gonna give myself 30 days though. I just wanna finish it in July. This is my thing for July. Let's just get it done. <laughs> La Miserable by Victor Hugo was first published in 1862. I am extremely apprehensive about this read-along because I have read a graphic novel of Le Mis that was like, it was okay, it was fine. And then I have watched the musical of Le Mis and I just did not like it, mainly because of the music, because I'm a musician and so I know music and I know good music and that wasn't it. <laughs> the melodic lines in the music in Le, the Le Mis musical are just such boring melodic lines. And the harmony is really boring too. I don't know, it's just so repetitive. I can understand why some people really, really love it. But as a musician, I'm looking for specific things out of music that grab my attention and provide some, you know, melodic interest or maybe harmonic surprises or something that's going to appeal to my musician's ear. And Le Mis just doesn't have it. So I feel like I'm very biased. I have all these preconceived notions about Le Mis. <laughs> And I need to just separate my dislike for the music from the actual story itself. Because the story itself I feel like is really great and really powerful and interesting and has a lot of like plot twists and action, a lot of things happening, very deep characters, you know. It's also pretty depressing. <laughs> so I'm just not sure if I'm ready for this emotional roller coaster that is going to be Le Mis. The title is miserable, you know? So yeah, it's depressing. <laughs> However, one thing that I've always appreciated about Le Mis is so much of the time when I read about the French Revolution or watch movies about the French Revolution, it's either the middle of the revolution or it's even like the aftermath of the revolution. Um, not a lot actually do I see a lot of books or movies or things about the events leading up to the revolution, right? Right in, up until, you know, shots were fired and stuff. So that is one sort of perspective that I do really appreciate that little snippet of history, you know? Um, I find that very interesting. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know, are you participating in this read along? Have you read Le Mis before? And did you like reading it more than watching the musical? Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.